Sky is so high If you don't know how to fly Aim for laser to make you fly Sky is so high If you don't know how to fly Aim for laser to make you fly Here we go Good afternoon everyone इंटरव्यू and uh, do you want me to go do you want me uh, to share the screen guys yes ma'am okay thank you so much okay so now i will tell you about how to you know be presented uh, basic i mean how to present yourself in an interview first the first thing is i speaker getting to know you so i speak is something like when you meet a person sometimes when you face an interview interviewer uh, you do not know the person you have seen the person for the first time sometimes when the interviewers are little bit you know uh, they are they, you they look strict but they are not strict but they look strict they present themselves in a way very sometimes when you face interview when you go to an interview you tend to uh, become nervous okay the first thing that normally people when they face an interview they encounter this problem of being nervous so that is the point when we have to do an ice breaker between the interviewer and between you okay so the first thing you are going to do when you uh, face an interviewer is that you have to wish them suppose if you uh, Man, gentlemen sitting there, or uh, if there is a lady sitting there, you have to wish them good morning, ma'am. Good morning, sir. Then you have to proceed with the other part. Okay, then uh, you can just uh, he will ask you if he is not asking, you can just introduce yourself. Like, hello, ma'am, I'm Tanfi. Okay, may I sit down? If there is a chair, you can just ask, take a permission and sit down. May I sit down? Okay, I'm sitting. Also, there is a certain there are certain postures where you have to uh, while sitting in interview. I will teach you about that later. But the body postures you have to maintain. Okay, so these are the certain uh, small small things you always have to keep in mind, and um, you have to take care while going for an interview. Okay, presentation is very important. First of all, everyone says that. No first impression is the last impression. So another important thing is that you have to present yourself very neat and tidy and be well groomed. Because in everything, the most important thing that we look for is the grooming part. If you have to be well groomed at all point of time, you know you must be grooming. You do not have to uh, like um, you know, present yourself in a shady way, kind of you know uh, undressed shirt. Or baby hairs coming outside your hairs. Those are those are the things which are not expected in an English interview. Or you should be neatly tied your hair, or neatly, you know, if it's a short hair, you have to put spray on the hair. Uh, that is the kind of thing which I'll be uh, telling you later on. But in short, you have to be well groomed and. And uh, when you enter the interview room, first thing first, you have to, you know, wish that uh, person who is sitting there, the interviewer, and then ask, take a permission, if you wish to take a permission, sit down, and then you can continue. If he is uh, asking your name, then it's fine. If not, you can ask, you can tell by yourself. Hello, sir. Good morning. How are you? I hope you're doing fine. Okay, I'm thank you. Okay, I like that. Can you just start your conversation? I'll tell you how to introduce yourself. So that is the eyes paper thing between uh, two persons. So I would like to, uh, I would like to offer to nominate for a small activity of you know how to get to know each other. Okay, 
question to a few please come up yourself or else i'll just pick, randomly pick up the names please switch on the videos people nominating ashwin right chandi yes ma chandi uh, whom did i nominate you hmm? ashwin yes, i think can you come on line please yes ma yeah, so uh, so can you guys do an ice breaker ice breaker is nothing but interacting with each other by asking their name Okay, first you, both of you uh, will uh, get to know both of your names, and then asking uh, like, oh, ma'am, um, what, what, how was your day? Okay, suppose you guys are meeting while traveling, so you can just ask, where are you traveling to, ma'am? Okay, and you can ask, uh, um, uh, where is your native, ma'am? Okay, so these are a few small, small things where you can do a nice breaker thing. Uh, can you please start? Okay, now we just need to start, ma. Yes, ma. You can just say hi, Ashwini. Uh, I'm. Uh, I'm. Sorry, hi, Jampi. Uh, I'm Ashwini. You just start. I know where are you talking to? Hi. 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 So you'll get to know about the person where she is traveling to, okay? And you can just start by telling where is your native place, ma'am? How often do you travel? Uh, you can ask like, uh, ma'am, uh, did you have your lunch? Okay. So, like that, you can you know just do a between each and, and you can. Something about Janvi, like where, where she is traveling to, where she is from, and how often do you travel? So it is a small kind of interaction. And uh, next time when you do conversation with her, next time when you meet her, it will be a little comfortable for you to talk to her because the icebreaker part is done. Only icebreaker is something you know, wherein you uh, when the first interaction when you do with someone. 
uh, you feel sometimes you get scared because sometimes you tend to you know judge the person by their looks okay there's always a saying called uh, don't judge the person don't judge a book by its cover so we should always not judge someone by looking at their you know how they are looking sometimes we should interact to them because who knows uh, the person whom we are thinking that he is that kind of a person by judging them uh, with their looks but you know by interacting with that person we may come to know that he is a different person he is different and you know he, uh, he can be your friend uh, okay so many a times when you go for interview uh, when you do not do the ice breaker thing properly like uh, the good morning also when you say good morning uh, when you'll get a good you know pleasant smile with a pleasant smile you'll, uh, you wish that uh, interviewer who have been in doing the interviews uh, from so long might be from morning to you as uh, you know and uh, doing interviews of people she got she got tired might be but if you'll wish her with a pleasant smile okay but with uh, your neat and tidy looks uh, well groomed uh, you will portray yourself as a well groomed candidate she will feel happy to see you she will be you know her tiredness will go if you see a pleasant a smile a pleasant wish okay so this are a small ice breaker thing in case of an interview also it in with her sorry sorry Can you please repeat yourself? Finish one now. Sorry. Nareesh Kumar. Okay, Nareesh Kumar. Uh, yes. Uh, anything you want to ask, Nareesh? No, ma'am. Okay. Just let me know. You, you can stop me in between if you if there is any uh, issues in understanding. Okay. So that is the ice breaker thing. Okay. The next thing is about the next thing. Next thing is that you know you have to complete an application form thoroughly. Whenever the next step they will uh, is. they will do is when you go for interview they will give you an application form okay so you have to fill that application form thoroughly okay and prepare an interview and execute it with, with confidence okay that is the third that is the second step they will call you for a small round of interview there are so many rounds of interview so first session is just a in small interaction second will be the application form filling up so you have to fill up uh, the application form and try to avoid cuts and try to avoid you know uh, dirty handwriting okay fill it with clear handwriting try to uh, impress the that is a kind of i know uh, impressing technique and secondly uh, you can prepare an interview and execute it with confidence so how to prepare for an interview the you can prepare for interview by you know um, like uh, there are some questions which normal people i mean recruiters they ask while interview okay these the uh, questions are very common nowadays because uh, most of the hr most of the recruiters they ask like for cabin crew are you uh, just so i want to confirm are you guys all of you are interested in which uh, department of aviation is it for cabin crew or for ground staff or anything uh, both ma'am okay for anything okay so whenever you are preparing for an interview you can prepare it from how is it like suppose your introduction your name like i'll tell about my introduction hello good morning i am tanfi born and raised in assam i am 26 years old i have done my schooling from st stephen school and then i did my class 12 from Kanchotika Junior College, and then I came to Bangalore to study engineering. I studied engineering, and then I joined aviation. I worked in SpyJet for three years, and then I joined Air Asia as a trainer. 
and uh, now i'm looking forward to for an opportunity to you know uh, grow as a trainer okay i'm looking for an opportunity so you can just say like that okay i will give specific uh, introduction paragraph or i'll prepare i'll prepare you guys for introduction and all okay i'll give you paragraphs related to how to give your introduction i'll make you guys tell about your introduction okay just a uh, small thing naresh can you just introduce yourself naresh Okay, so you can introduce yourself, please. Okay. Yeah, please uh, go on. Do not stop in between. You can. You should always have a good flow while telling about yourself. You should never stop in between, and you should never tell. Uh, Mm, all those you know fillers you ne- you you do not have to say while introducing yourself it's very important for you to have a good flow okay when you introduce uh, yourself naresh okay uh, that's okay naresh i'll help you okay you can uh, naresh uh, where are you from from telangana Okay. Okay. So, uh, what you, what was your last qualification? Studying water management first year, ma'am. Sorry? Studying water management degree first year, ma'am. Okay. And uh, so, when are you looking for a job? Like now or later? Uh, okay. Just leave about that part. Anything else? Where like where did you do your schooling? Where? How old are you? so i was talking about how to interact with the uh, interview suppose you're going for an interview okay so the main question switched uh, uh, in the second round uh, in the first round sorry when it is face to face round they ask the recruiters ask in normal english is about um, they ask your name okay they'll ask where are you from and then they'll tell you question about yourself Okay, a small introduction about yourself, uh, and uh, the thing, the next thing they will ask after introduction. So they will really proceed if they like your first question. Suppose only in the first, in the first question itself, if you fumble, some interviewers, some recruiters might continue with the rest of the interview, and some recruiters may just stop in that part itself. Okay, so whenever. Uh, Uh, suppose I am I am a recruiter and I am taking your interview. So I'll start with Janvi. Janvi, you are very well grown. You have grown well, Janvi. Thank you. Yeah, it's great to see you. Thank you, ma'am. I think uh, you look more good with proper uh, like some more of grooming. I'll do you. <laughs> okay, ma'am. Beautiful. Yeah. So Janvi, I'll just start with you. Uh, just an example I'm showing. Okay, how recruiters they take interviews when you go for interview. Okay, for any aviation interview, whether it's ground staff, whether it's a flight dispatcher, whether it's a cabin crew. So Janvi, where uh, like where are you? I'll take according to that. Where are you interested in? Which department, Janvi? Cabin crew. Ah, uh, for cabin crew, yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Hi, Janvi. Hi, ma'am. Uh, can you give me give me a short introduction about yourself? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Okay. So, myself Janvi Tiwari, and I am from Mumbai. I have recently completed my twelfth from Nagindas Khandwala College, Malar, and I have done my schooling from uh, till tenth from uh, MP Jabalpur. Then I have shifted to Mumbai for tenth and eleventh and twelfth. And uh, basically, I am a classical dancer as well as a national singer. and i am also doing 9 years of m in classical dance and i have completed it my 6th year in it and my dream is to become a cabin crew and the reason why i like to become a cabin crew is that i love traveling and we travel a lot and um, in there it's not like we have to go 9 to 9 uh, to 5 job uh, like within a week week or uh, like timing will change and we will gonna meet new people every day and i love to meet new people Thank you, okay. ma'am. Okay, so you have told many answers in one paragraph. It was a very good, very good introduction, Janvi. Very well said, and without any, 
any fumbling we have not fumbled in between it was a good flow that of your introduction the way you say but uh, i'll give some do you want me to give a small feedback about your introduction uh, yes ma'am okay so sometimes in interviews uh, they do not some recruiters of some companies like you know who, uh, who wanted people to speak a good english they do not want uh, fillers like gonna wanna and all they even just uh, instead of saying gonna i wanna you can just say i want to be i i have gonna you, you just try to avoid this kind of words okay it's a suggestion okay don't 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 take it wrong okay and just giving you feedback correctly no, okay and just everything was fine you were smart enough you were presentable enough i mean your introduction i saw the way you were speaking it was really nice but try avoiding some uh, sentences like you said uh, you not want nine to five jobs so when you are going for an interview when you are saying a thing which is negative uh, like you do not like Uh, you do not like a uh, nine to five job that shows a very wrong impression about yourself. Like the like recruiters might think that you know uh, you have certain likes and dislikes. So might be while well, after recruiting you in the job itself when you're working, you'll have some likes and dislikes. So try avoiding such words like you know I don't uh, want to do not. Uh, uh, Nine to five jobs and all. And try avoiding this. Instead, you can say, "I would always prefer. Uh, I would always prefer uh, doing a job which uh, which I like to. You know, I I would always prefer to because cabin crew is has been always my dream. Okay, uh, since uh, ever ever since I was a child, I saw cabin crew. Cabin crew. I got inspired by them. Okay, the way they interact with people. The way they. you know concern about safety of the passengers so i am a per- person who is uh, uh like you i'll tell you okay the proper sentences but uh, try not to say uh, these kind of words that's what i meant and others everything was fine okay the next question as an interviewer i will ask you uh, janvi where are you from uh, i am from mumbai maharashtra okay so um why uh, So, are you able to relocate to a place if you got selected? Uh, yeah, ma'am, for sure. Okay. Uh, so you're from Mumbai. Can you just tell me something about Mumbai? I don't know much. We only two years there. Okay. Uh, no problem, Janvi. Uh, can you tell me about uh, something about your birthplace? Okay, I am. I born in Jabalpur, Mumbai. So it's a small village in Jabalpur uh, where I live, and it's known as uh, Vikal State. In okay, so no, not to worry. Don't worry. It's uh, just uh, I'm just trying to uh, give you information of what uh, recruiters ask you. So these are the things uh, which normal cabin crew interviews they will ask you. Where are you from? They will ask you if you say I'm from Bangalore. If you say I'm from Mumbai, they will ask you to speak about that place. When you are saying certain place, mention certain things in your introductions. Uh, whenever you are uh, telling your introduction, always you know, um, uh, see you can you can always mention it down. Like what are the things you have uh, mentioned? Suppose you have told about your birthplace. So I will just. No, but this is is not muted. Something is not muted. Okay, so I'll just uh, ask you like about something about your birthplace. As I got to know from your introduction that you are from Jawalpur, so I'll ask a few paragraph or few points uh, to this place about Jawalpur. So you can do a re- research in Google. You can take some uh, points about Jawalpur. You can write a small paragraph. Okay. Suppose if it's Bangalore, then I would say Bangalore is the Bangalore is a very beautiful beautiful place. It's known as the IT hub of India. The tourist attraction in Bangalore is uh, Lal Bagh Botanical Garden, Vidhan Sauda, and uh, the main food of uh, Bangalore is idli dosa. So I'll t- I'll tell such things. Okay, you can mention such things. 
and uh, from google you'll get good points as well okay if you want my help then surely i'll help you to uh, arrange a paragraph about your hometown and the place you come from that is mumbai the other question is they will ask you why do you want to become a cabin crew so most of the times many candidates they say that you know I want to be a cabin crew because I want to meet new people. I like traveling, so try not to give that answer. Try giving some different answer, like you know, uh, it's about knowledge, exploring knowledge when you explore places. It's about knowledge, okay, and uh, exploring, uh, exploring, uh, learning things by exploring a place. is your uh, hobby okay you can say such things okay which will give a good impression will give you some unique thing about you because most of the interviews the pre girls will say you know that uh, i like to meet new people that is why you can say that point as well but you can also uh, say some unique point about you and unique quality about you which will you know uh, uh, which which will you know make different uh, You, like from others make you different from other girls who came for interview so these are certain points and uh, what else whenever you say something try to practice whenever you prepare some question and answers in the home itself so that whenever the interviewer will interact with you you will not fumble with those in the answers okay okay ma'am Uh, so you, you so what was your last qualification janvi uh 12 pass 12 pass like on this year only okay 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 yeah you can definitely become a cabin crew because i have been training from last three years so i can say that you know by looking at your skills you, know, you have a good communication skills janvi keep it up and Thank you, ma'am. Keep it up, and this more. Okay, you can definitely do that. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Also, in some of the sessions, they'll ask you, you know, uh, like, um, what are your greatest achievements? <laughs> what are your greatest achievements? So, uh, I would uh, like to ask Alina. Alina, are you present? Alina, are you there? Alina George, she left. Okay, no problem. Uh, Anjali Kumari, Anjali, are you there? Anjali, Anjali, are you there? Uh, you can unmute yourself, Anjali. Yes, ma'am. Anjali, you may switch on your video, please. Please switch on your videos. The, uh, I would request every one of you to switch on your videos, please. okay anjali uh, try to groom yourself okay i'll i'll take you take a separate grooming class for you guys i will teach you how to groom yourself okay uh, not to worry this class because since uh, this is the first session which me for you guys so not to worry about this anjali uh, what are your biggest achievements so these are the questions whatever i'm asking you this the recruiters may ask you while going for an interview so that is the reason i'm asking you i'm trying to uh, prepare you guys for the interview don't think it is a question just answer me like uh, whatever you know whatever uh, like whatever you can answer uh, in a simplest way or in a whatever way you want uh, what are your biggest achievements anjali Yes, you can speak, Anjali. Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, what are your uh, biggest achievements? Ah, uh, till now. 
nothing ma'am you cannot say like that nothing okay i know you have achieved something might be you have achieved a uh, uh, good score in your one of your examination might be you have achieved uh, some i don't know for me my biggest achievement was when i got selected in aviation okay so that was one of my biggest achievement till now and you can say like uh, when i was at your age i mean when i was uh, are you a fresher anjali are you a fresher are you a fresher fresher yes okay so so you are a fresher so your biggest achievement i'm just giving an example it might be you know uh, the a good score that you have scored in your examination in your 12 course you have got uh, first division so you can just say about that that my biggest achievement was when i got first division in 12 standards boards 12 standards and um, so so you can just tell that i was very happy at that point of time it gave me so much of inspiration to uh, you know proceed uh, further in my career it helped me in growing my career so you can add these lines okay. when you say okay and uh, they will ask you tell me something positive about you so what are the somewhat or something positive in you anjali i want to i want i like to talk with others okay so you uh, you uh, you can you know frame that sentence properly and you can say uh, i like interacting people so you can just say one positive positive thing about myself is that i have uh, i i like to uh, interact with uh, others i it's my hobby one of my hobby to in uh, you know interact with, with new people or interact with others you can say like that okay and what are the negative things about you anjali anything that you don't like about yourself no ma'am i like myself okay so you cannot say no ma'am uh, that is very you know you cannot say no in front of an recruiter okay always when you are uh talking to a recruiter you should always so always when you are with a recruiter in front of a recruiter try to avoid uh, saying no okay instead you can say uh, Uh, what was the uh, sentence you said okay what was the question negative thing okay so you can just say that you know uh, negative thing anything like you know might be sometimes you have to say something okay you just cannot say you no know, some negative things might be you get angry but you try not to say such things because they will again uh, take it as a you know take it as a uh, this thing okay ma'am one a uh, negative point about you so try to avoid saying things like uh, no ma'am or i am angry uh, i have a bad quality of getting angry i have a bad quality of uh, not interacting with others try uh, not to say such things because that will create a very bad image of you in front of the recruiter ma'am your voice is not clear ma'am is it clear now is it clear yes okay so okay. so in Okay, so instead of that, you can just say uh, one negative thing about me is that I don't feel good when I'm not able to perform well. When uh, something is given uh, for me, okay, uh, I feel sometimes I feel pressurized. But at the same time, this pressure, I, this uh, pressurization feeling is good. Uh, I feel that it is good for beneficial for me because sometimes it makes me uh, complete the task on time. Okay, you can say such things which will uh, not give a negative thing about you, but also uh, it will it will give a good impression about you. Got it? Okay, ma'am. Okay. Okay. So I was telling about the points uh, which you have to follow. Point. The first point was 
completing an application thoroughly the next point was i was talking about was you know how to prepare for the interview and then execute execute it with confidence the third was present your self in the best possible light during formal interviews so if there is any formal interview you can try to present yourself uh, you know present yourself uh, in the light okay best possible light so uh, so what are the information required the information required is what are the information you have to mention down in your resume so the the important things that you can mention down in your resume is your contact in your name your contact information your education your experience your references okay so what first you can write about where are you from Okay, short introduction about yourself. You can mention down your resume. Second, your education. You can mention down. Third is your experience, and fourth is like you can give any experience, any hobbies of yours. You can mention down all your achievements as well in the uh, resume while preparing for the resume. Okay, so how you have to prepare yourself? The best. So there is a lots of competition for jobs and uh, placements nowadays. Okay, so. Uh, how to prepare yourself you show them that you know you are the best candidate among all the candidates so uh, okay, you can fit the job well whatever the job uh, you are going for if it's a cabin crew or if it's a ground staff you should first do a study a small study about the job okay i will help you in uh, doing that so first of all i will uh, in my next class i will be asking and divide you in the um, i think in two three groups I will prepare you accordingly, like whatever departments you want to join. If it's only cabin crew, then I'll prepare you for only cabin crew. If it's only for ground staff, then I'll prepare you for only the ground staff. Okay, like that. So you have to do a small research about the job profile, and then you should know what the what are the qualities. Suppose if it's a ground staff, then they are looking for adaptability because in ground staff, adaptability is very important for everyone. It's uh, adaptability to timings, adaptability to uh, weather, adaptability to uh, you know everything. And then uh, like ground um, staff duties to you know be in the airport, in the run, to work in under the sun, work under the rain, and uh, also work in the ticketing counter, manage the baggage and hand, and also manage the passengers. So and also if you will work as a ground staff, there is a good opportunity to fill in the future to grow in that field, okay? Because uh, ground staff is also a good career. Suppose if you uh, have joined as a ground staff in an airline, so you learn so many things about the CRS, the customer reservation system is there. So all those are very, uh, very, uh, you know, things. Uh, Highly, I mean, highly uh, valued things now. It is in the industry, which industry everyone prefers to. So we learn about CIS, the things for CIS now. So in future, you get a good promotion in the aviation sector. So that you can choose the ground staff. Cabin crew, cabin crew also have a very good career because if you become a cabin crew, you get the opportunity to travel to places, you get the overs and all. You get to stay in good hotels, five star hotels. Okay, you get an opportunity to travel so many cities, okay, and then stay in the hotel, find the hotel. Am I audible right now? Am I audible to you guys? Yes, sir. Yeah, so these kind of opportunities you'll get in the Kevin Crew department. Okay, and you'll become very smart, very, very smart. Okay, also you'll be adapted to different timings because Kevin Crew, uh, in Kevin Crew job, Okay, we cabin crew have no Christmas, no New Year. Uh, like our duty is the most important thing for us because even in Christmas, that we have to operate flights sometimes. We have to operate flights sometimes even in the New Year. Okay, uh, but uh, because we are there for the safety of the passengers, so we feel proud that way. It is a very proud, proudful job. Okay. So first, when you are going, suppose for an interview of a cabin crew, these people will ask you why should we hire you. That question is a very common question. They will ask you why should we hire you. So why will they hire you? Can you tell something about me? So, Umra, can you tell me why uh, the answer of why should we hire you? Yeah. 
my Imra, do you want to be a cavalry? No, no, no. I want to be become a ground staff. Okay, okay. So as a ground staff, okay, you want to be a ground staff. So why should we hire you, Umra? What made you uh, stand different from the other candidates that I will hire you? I have no idea. Okay, so you have to answer. Uh, so you have to answer it in a positive way, very positive way. That you have to tell all your qualities that you have, the positive qualities, you know, which will match with the job. Some qualities like you know, adaptability to time. Okay, <coughs> teamwork. Okay, time adaptability, time management, teamwork. Okay, uh, some of your uh, qualities like leadership qualities and decision making qualities. So you have to tell them briefly about that. and you should also tell them that ma'am i think these qualities are very important for this job and as um, i'm uh, as i think uh, this uh, i have i have gone through the roles and responsibilities of a ground staff so i think uh, it will match uh, match with my qualities and i'll be grateful if i get an opportunity to work as a ground staff so you can say those things okay umra Are you listening? Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, as I already said, it's more info and impression. So your first impression is your last impression. We have to create a very good impression when, uh, when I uh, suppose you're done with the interview, you can just say, "Ma'am, uh, how was your day?" You can just ask them when they are. Uh, they said, you know, that uh, we are done with the interview. They, you can just ask them, "Ma'am, how was your day?" Uh, like as uh, they will say how is so you can just leave the interview session by saying have a good day ma'am have a great day ma'am have a great day ahead i uh, got it was nice meeting you ma'am you can just uh, tell those words and leave the place okay this will leave a very good impression about you in the interview got it okay so till what time is your session guys till what time Uh, 3 3 p.m. 3 hours. Yeah. Okay, 3 p.m. Right. Okay, fine then. <coughs> I think we will. We are. We will be. We are done with this uh, today session. Anything you want to ask me or tell me, just you can inform me. Okay. Now only you can tell me. Anything you want to say from your side, people. Anything about my training or something. Were you able to understand what I was explaining you? Uh, were, the, were you guys able to understand, or any doubt? No. Uh, can we any doubt? Uh, no, ma'am. Okay. Was it understandable to you? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, just uh, stop me in between whenever you have a doubt or whenever you have something to ask, any questions, any doubts. Just stop me in between, and you can ask me. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it was okay, okay, just a nice training with you all. Tomorrow, hope to see you again, and uh, tomorrow's session will be little different. Today was the first day, so I faced some network issues. Okay, really sorry for that. Okay, tomorrow we'll start with some new topics, new interactions, new activities. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, all of you. Goodbye. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. Have a great day. Have a nice day. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much.